Urban Gypsy front and center, organic street glamour, using compression, piecing, and weave cutting. I've already sectioned Janessa's hair from just below the top of the ear, just above the occipital and to the top of the other ear. I'm now gonna compression cut this section, combing the hair nice and tight. Once I get that hair in position, I'm gonna come in with my surface razor and just shatter down and in to the neck. Shattering as I go to create that really nice, soft, shattered line on the underneath. Now from here, I will just clean up the neckline just a little bit. I'm gonna come in just using the point of the razor just to shatter that little line in behind the ear in the red zone. Come over onto the other side and just shatter in the underneath. Now we're ready to move on to our next section. Having cut my section on the neath, I'm now going to cut two compression sections, one on each side, directing all the hair back into the center. I'm gonna come back and my shortest point is gonna fall just below my shortest point from the underneath. So coming back, gonna come in, get my blade in, and I'm gonna shatter down and down and down into that length into the front. Don't be afraid to shatter away at the edges so that you get that organic street look, a real nice edge. Now coming over to the other side, I will direct this hair back. Take a small guide from my compression piece I've just cut. I will find my guide and shatter down. Nice shattered line. Down and out into the front. After cutting our two compression sections in the back, we now have the option of doing an interior disconnect in the front. Janela's hair is not particularly thick, so we're just gonna take a very slight amount of hair out towards the end, just to give us a little separation in there. If the hair is thicker, you may wanna go a little deeper with that. Now the last section, I'm taking everything that's left over, taking it back to the back of the black zone, over to the corner. I want all of this length to get longer as it goes away to the opposite corner. So as I come in here, I'm gonna work with the razor on the top and compression cut, but really shatter again. Just really encourage that. So as we throw that hair forward, we get this amazing length coming through. So just strengthening around the face, I'm going to come in with my contour shear and just around about the lip line, I'm going to strengthen that shape. And then coming back, strengthen that shape. Coming over to this side. Going to strengthen the shape through the front. Create space behind the fringe. And just slightly and strengthen my outside line. Embrace the surface color veil for that pop of draped color. We're going to begin by isolating the green and the black zone. We started our sectioning here by identifying the separation of the green and the black zone. As you can see, the shape of the black zone is a perfect half circle. So we mirrored that image into the green zone to complete 
that perfect circle. At that point, we treated this as the equator and then gave our circle a center part, separating it into four triangular subsections. Now we can begin. As we begin our color, it's important to block color the blue zone and the red zones first. Like a house, we have to build the foundation. We'll choose to work with a base color of our 5NB truffle with 20 volume. Now that we've finished black coloring the blue zone and what we've dropped out of the hairline here, we're going to start in our pie-shaped triangular sections. We'll begin at the base here and working in surface target partings, nice and clean, we'll take the tip of our tail comb and place it on the right side, followed by our index finger on our left directly across. I'm going to gently drag the tail comb across the scalp until it meets my pointer finger, catching hair along the way. At this point now, we can give separation and make a perfect clean parting. That is one fourth of an inch and our perfect surface slice. We'll now move into the surface weave we're choosing to weave the base of our section because we want to make sure that it's more broken so we don't see the start and the stop of the dark and the light. We'll work with foil as well to get maximum contrast. To weave, take your section, hold it very parallel with the ground. We'll take the tip of our tail comb here, and just like we do in our core cutting when we weave with our razor, we'll take our tail comb and we'll weave up, down, up, down, up, down, until we reach the other side. At this point now, we give it separation and we've now created more of a medium weave. We'll clip that out of the way until later and let's grab a foil for our lightening application. We'll fold the foil with the lip living on the outside, place that underneath, take our base formula of our 5NB with 20 volume, We'll lock in that foil real nice here. Next, we'll use our pure blonde of 20 volume and we'll saturate that really nicely. And I am going to feather to really lock in that weave that we've just created. We'll just bend those ends very carefully here just to the side as she has the perfect length for these foils. And once that application is finished, We'll now place another foil on top. We can move very quickly here, and as you can see, dropping that other weave down, we'll now take our base formula, lock in the foil, but this time, let's bring it a little bit further in here, anywhere from half an inch to an inch. This is where we're going to start our pure shadowing. Our pure shadowing is going to meet our pure blonde here in the in the foil here, and let's saturate that out. So we want to maintain and start to build all that pure shadow here as we work up. We'd want to make sure that this is nice and blurred. So our next step is to grab a sponge for blurring. We'll use the corner of that sponge so that we can also create softness and diffusion. So we'll just drag that down, blurring, not blending, and we'll take another foil and place it right here on top. As we continue to move through our triangular section here, we'll continue to work in surface target partings, but now we move into slices, following that all the way up to the tip of that triangle. Lock in the foil with our base. And this is where I'm going to choose to slope left and slope right with our application. We will choose to slope left and pure shadow on an angle. Because of that, we're going to stand on the right hand side here. So we have that perfect effortless angle. And just bring that base color in through. We'll now take our pure blonde and just mimic that same perfect angle we've just created. Really saturating down to the ends of the hair and sloping to the left. At this point, it's time to blur once again with the sponge. Let's focus on the corner and we'll just drag that down, take our foil and place on top. Our next section 
working in surface target pardons, and even with the clip here, we'll drape that over top. But remember, we slope to the left. Now we want to slope to the right. And in that way, we are going to soften and really break up that color, giving that diffusion right here at the base. So we'll get in with our base here. And remember, we sloped to the left, so our next section is going to be sloping to the right. We've finished our process, and now it's time for the overlay. Today, we will work with one part of our 7R Ruby to one part of our 9C Copper with 20 volume enzyme cream activator. In detailing our Urban Gypsy front and center, I'm going to do some piecing on this side just by taking a small section, piecing it between my thumb and my first finger, and then just walking the razor on one side, and then coming in and walking it on the other. The piecing will just give me some separation through this side piece. On the other side, I'm going to use some weaving. I'm going to take the section through this front area, large side of the comb. I'm going to lay the hair in the palm of my hand, gain my section with a small amount of tension. I'm going to weave my razor in and out, in and out, just to get me a separation. And then in one go, I'm just going to bevel that round and remove some of that hair. Take a look. See if it gives me the softness I desire. I feel like I can do just a tiny bit more. So we'll go back in. I'll come in, I'll weave the razor in, out, in, out, in, out. Tilt it towards me and just bevel out a tiny bit more. And this just gives me a nice little collapse and softness through the front. <laughs> To finish our Urban Gypsy front and center, we're going to embrace Janessa's natural curl. We've began with our curls family, but from there to enhance it, we're going to begin with our sea salt spray swirl to be able to really enhance that natural curl and give it a crisp finish. From here, we'll work with our taffy whip. The shiitake mushroom fibers are really gonna give a nice sponginess to that curl and really help to rubberize it so that humidity protects it constantly. And we'll just squeeze that right into the hair. As we can go ahead and start embracing that curl, we have our curls detangling comb that we can use gently to push that curl back into place. From here, we'll be working with our bucket diffuser. I'll have Janessa tip her head to the right for me so that as I work, the curls can do all the work for me. Mist and melt our gypsy front and center with our taffy wax. Let's take our urban gypsy front and center to our street glamour. We've prepared the hair using our Reflect Gel for maximum hold, and then we've applied our Bliss Smoothing Cream to really give that smooth texture to the hair. We'll begin working with our parting and then moving around the head in a pinwheel shape all the way around to the front. Our first section will come on a diagonal. We'll begin to work with our dryer and our brush following back and then into the C motion. Let's give this urban gypsy front and center some street glamour. We'll begin in this top section 
we'll be working with our curls hairspray. First thing we'll do is mist that curl spray right down with this section in the direction the hair moves. From here, we'll take a small horizontal section. We'll be working with an iron, either the outside of the iron or a curling wand. We'll lay the hair over the top We'll twist the hair to the left so that our palm is facing up. As we wrap, our palm is up. We'll come back down and we'll let it set. Now that we've let this wave set in about 10 seconds or so, we're going to take our surface shaping wax, just a very small amount on the back of my thumbnail. We'll massage that right through my fingertips and we'll rake that section right through. To really set in the curl definition of this wave, we're going to work with our TK2 comb and the fine teeth of the comb. As we pick the section up, we comb the hair in about an inch and now we set and push that comb up a bit. Now we come down, push that comb up a bit, pull down, and push that comb up again. So you can start to really see how that nice wave pattern sets in for our Urban Gypsy front and center street glam.